So what we're making today is uh, what I call salmon and salmon roulade, which is basically uh, salmon rillette or salmon sandwich spread mixed uh, together and then it's going to be rolled up in locks or uh, thinly sliced smoked salmon. Now this is a pretty popular appetizer with uh, people I hang out with. We get together for potlucks and stuff. It's one of the first things people ask me to bring. So it's pretty easy to make. A little bit of the salmon sandwich spread or salmon rillette. Don't have to be too fancy about it. Roll it up with the locks. Sit it on your plate. This is a very uh, rich flavor, strong flavor because of the, the salmon. The salmon and the, the locks being smoked have a very strong uh, flavor to them. So as you're putting it together, you're going to want to kind of think about how you're going to make the flavors a little less intense or how to add something to the, the dish that's going to add another note so that when you're serving it, uh, the people will have several different flavors move across their palate. Now, well, obviously I'm speaking to people who are into what you might call cuisine or the art of cooking, which uh, I have to say I'm surprised to find myself having fallen in love with, uh, basically the art of making beautiful and delicious food. Um, most of my life I've been a little more practical <laughs> in the sense that uh, I would just eat whatever I had out of a pot. And now I find myself having some fun. Now to spruce this up I might add a little sprig of cilantro. I think I'm going to add a little bit of dill. So you have a choice with dill. You know, you could sit some across each piece as kind of a, just a little bit of color. You know, that uh, look at me kind of thing. There's a lot on that one. And uh, all of a sudden you have a slightly enhanced presentation. And uh, probably demonstrated this before, but when it comes to the fresh herb dill, to get the most out of it, you have to basically crush it, squish the juices out of it like that. So it changes the color a little bit too. So now I have just this other flavor element, slightly different color. You know, and again, I've enhanced the the look. Just a little bit. And of course that's going to be a, a much more noticeable flavor of dill. Now, most often when I serve this I'm going to serve it with some uh, wedges of lime. Uh, sometimes lemon, depending on the preference of people. Right now I'm just using some organic lime juice. I just want to drip very, very carefully. Just a little bit on the plate and on each one. And then, this is uh, some chipotle pepper. Be very careful with this stuff, it's pretty hot. Just, and if I overdo it, that's the one I get. Just a little dusting. And that by itself is pretty good. Now there's another note that sometimes I'll add and uh, I think I will with uh, two of them, and then we'll do a little uh, taste test to see which way it goes. And that's going to be to put some toasted sesame oil on top. So here's the toasted sesame oil, and I'm going to add just a drop across that one, and then a drop across that one. And then we're going to have a little taste test, and just see what people think. So here is me and my son Dalen. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We're each going to have one, we have that one. Okay. And uh, this is the ones without the sesame. Really good. Really good. It's kind of a family favorite. So let's try the ones with the sesame oil and see if you notice the difference. I think 
sesame oil kind of brings out the flavor more. Mm -hmm. Almost. Like you can taste more. Mm -hmm. and that's one of the tricks to always adding oil to your food uh, after it's been made. When it's shiny, more nutritious, and uh, it's often the first thing your mouth is going to recognize as a flavor. I mean, that's the first thing I picked up, sesame oil. And after that, everything else just broke through the flavor of the oil and was that, that much more delicious and noticeable. So, just another trick for you. So, again, keep cooking and keep cooking well because it'll keep you well. Have a great day. Oh, yeah.